Hello all Havoc here. Alright, so uh, we're in mini dig here and I'm doing one of the last cuts I'm going to make for the gate. And so I thought I'd come in and give you guys a couple pointers that I use. Is notice the walls are pretty smooth. I'm just going through cleaning this one up. I was a little off my mark. But uh, you guys had commented before about how to get the wall so smooth. Here's a couple of things that I go by. Um, to help keep me getting somewhat clean walls. All right, so remember the test drill we did with uh, Mini Dig. He makes a, a, a round hole. So if you offset one entire hole, then you get these arcs. You can see right there. So you want to kind of do a half a, of hole instead of a full. So this was where he dug last time. Now you want to come down to about there. Put your horizon just at or above where you were just digging at. And so that white line right above 91 meters going left to right, that's your horizon. So if you do this, I'm now rolled to my right, my horizon is there. Now the crosshair just pull, gets pulled away from it. You want to keep that crosshair as close to that as possible. The other thing you want to do is you want to keep a mark in the distance. So let's say the side of this to where my crosshair is. Can I do... Yeah, so I'll use this. <laughs> So I'm picking somewhere down here, like this line right here, relative to my crosshair that's right here. And I'm trying to keep the distance between my crosshair and this line out here to be roughly the same. And that will help me with my left to right as I go forward. Because it gets dusty and cloudy and all that kind of stuff. So keeping your horizon right level with your crosshair and then keeping your crosshair in position to relative to something down there and it helps you get straight cleaner lines. Something I've done to help me out so I don't over dig is I've already pre-dug my ends. I went straight down. So I just dig towards those and call it good. So uh, we're gonna dig this one out and I think we're gonna be good at this point to go ahead and start um, the work on the gate. So the other thing you're going to want to do is consistent speed. Like, um, if you go too fast or too slow, then that will change the cut diameter. So if you do a steady rhythm, like I tap on the key to move forward at a consistent rate, that helps as well. The slower you cut, you'll get a different... Uh, texture on the walls because if you notice when you get to the end if you continue to sit there and keep cutting the wall will continue to change after the fact all right so almost there so i'll do it here watch i'm gonna sit here for a second one two three or see the wall continues to keep changing and as it does that it gets smoother and smoother and smoother and smoother so you can do that is go over a uh, certain area multiple times so see it's, it's not bad so I came back through at about this height here right clicking it'll get cleaned up a little bit more which I'm not worried about it just kind of just showing you guys this I'm flying through quite a bit faster because I'm just knocking the, the really high points off. See? Much better. Alright, so Mini Dick's doing his job. He's doing a great job at doing his job. So. Uh, we are going to throw landing gear on him, though. I think I found a spot for one. It's going to be right underneath the seat. Oh, we can use these. 
I didn't think about these. Um, all right, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens here. Bob, please. So, remote control. Uh, auto lock off. Okay. I always type gear anyway, so that'll be fine. G. Switch lock. And we'll go get you parked. Guess we can park you over here. Really don't see what's going on. Can we rename these? Yes. Prefix. All right. So then we can add those to here. Cycle to recharge and let's go back to here. Lights. Oops. There we go. Save. Perfect. So it's locked down. Thrusters are off. Batteries in recharge, and that's off. Okay. So hopefully, this time. We're good. This battery at it's at eighty seven percent. Okay. All right. So um, this and this have to stay connected, or Bob will eat it. So we're gonna have to see where the doors line up, the gates, and then take it from there. So um, let's see here. Gate. All right, so that's how big it is. And like I said, we need to go probably right there. Oh, it's kind of disappointing. I really wanted to get three. That's how far that's got to be away from that. I mean, it's still a good size opening, don't get me wrong, but. I was really hoping for three. So we can bring them over, what, two? And a mess. Wow, these things got a lot of parts in them. Reiki. All right, Bob, you get to take this one apart. All right, so let's back over here. Is 
But it looks like you get to stay like that. Um, actually, no, it doesn't. Hold on. Reason being is, is that <clears throat> we're going to end up uh, so we'll keep one block in each end. The rest is going to be gate. Alright, so four paint. to there. All right. So that's where our gate will be. We're going to keep one block on each side. That downward hold wasn't very straight, was it? <laughs> yeah, kind of cantered off. Down is really difficult. Why is that? Oh. <laughs> That'll make that a little bit easier. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, so... Let's get back to work in this. Okay, so these are going to come down. These will be the connection points for the um, the pistons once we get them down here all the way. On the plus side, all this is going to need is power. We don't have to run inventory down here like we did with the cargo container, the bouncing trampoline floor. Okay, do the same on the other side. Hmm. So I'm going to bring Dig down here and clean that up a little bit. Let's go get dig. I need to fix that so I can bring that down. All right, so K, remote block, control. We're going to do all thrusters back on, battery. All lights are on. Camera, unlock, go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig past, I'm going to turn like so, until I hit, actually probably right about to there I guess, huh? How's that look? Yeah. 
This is weird because controls are backwards because I'm facing. This is me looking back, so. But that looks pretty good right about there. So in theory, if I looked this way and just dug straight down, I can use that cursor and just keep it centered right there. That should turn out pretty good. And we're gonna go down to about 100 meters. So I guess for future reference, if you want to dig a hole straight down cleanly, that's a pretty good way to do it. Gonna be able to back through that hole. Yeah. Alright, let's so gonna switch back to the camera. And I'm gonna clean this up. Now it's gonna take two cuts. So I'm gonna come over here a little bit. That's where my original hold was, you can see. All right. Should be able to come up here, slide over just a touch. Okay. That should about do it. That's not going to fly. That's better. All right, so we're gonna just set you right here because you might end up, oh, a little rough there. Might end up needing him again, so. And all lights are off. I'm not gonna put the battery in recharge, so. All right. So we'll see how this looks over here now. Oh, oh that's better. I wasn't going to tie the two together across, but I think I am going to after all. Really like to have done it on that lower block, which means we'd have to get dig down here and dug another hole. But I kept him around on purpose. Okay, so I think we're just gonna do it from here. So the reason I don't really want to do this is because if this isn't deep enough, I don't want to have to take all this back out just to lower it down further. But I think with the way I plan on building it, it'll be fine. So yeah, actually, I am pretty sure it's going to be fine. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. I did. All right. Uh, that doesn't belong, but okay. So here's our little horseshoe that's going to hold our pistons in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. Uh, so 
G piston. I don't want a merge block. I think that's all we're going to need for now. Let's see here. Uh, I just realized we have a hole that we can't get out of. So let's go refill our hydrogen really fast. All right. That makes it feel a little bit better. Okay. So seven, we're gonna come over one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we're going to come up two. And then what I want to do is because how, wait, how tall is this thing going to be again? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 14 blocks tall. Uh, the rest of that's going to be greeble on the, on the top, so. Actually, just take these out, have it. Save Bob some time. All right, so if we need 14 blocks of space, between here and up there. And I don't think we have it, so. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We only have 11. So. I either have to go down or get fancy. I might have to do both. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure I have to do both. Hmm. So what we can do is this. Oh, no, you don't. Thanks for visiting. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put this guy here like this. So I just gained us two blocks. Right there. So, back up. I even did it on the right side, wow. Okay, like that, I like that. All right, so the next thing, that should be enough. So if I put a block here, and extend both of you, Where does that land us?
Not even close. We need one more piston. So then... Oh, actually, I wanted to keep that. My bad. Sorry. Come on, Bob. Help me out here, buddy. All right, there we go. Ta da With room to spare. Alright, and then we just adjust your minimums or your maximum distance to where it lines up absolutely perfect. So then you have to be 14 blocks tall. So one, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go. Done. The heck are you shooting at, dude? that was about <laughs> some heavy armor for us though so we just crash right into the side of our mountain and this is why we don't have any vertical shafts coming down into the base uh, because of sketchy stuff like that uh, the last one? That's the last one. Okay. So then we just repeat this again over here. Come up, right? And then we're going to go over three, down two. Over three, down two. Piston. Come up like I don't know two. We're gonna tie these two together to make that happen. Reverse, reverse, reverse. I got nervous, can you tell? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this should line up. One block north of this, like that. Okay, cool. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to take that one out real quick and do some bam bam. So, eight, make sure it's facing the correct direction, okay. Oh, well. You're supposed to be able to put these in if they're not welded. I guess that changed again. <laughs>
better. All right, and then we can just merge past them and then cut them out. Like so. Like that. Here's where we build our gate. Lots of shenanigans. But uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to name all these. Okay. So I got to name all of these pistons. Actually, I'm just going to do this. And then I will go into a terminal where it's a little bit easier. I'm going to put a space in there. Makes it a little easier. So I just have to look up LG. LG, by the way, I'm putting in there for stand for large grid, in case anybody was wondering. Okay. Now I just grab a terminal. We can type in LG, put them all into the same group. We can rename them all, so we can grab all of these, go to the rename tool, uh, reset names is going to take everything off of them. LG. Gate. That's going to be a suffix. So now they're all named the same. And I'm going to do this. Save. And I think I want to name this one something different. Um, uh, because these are the two that we're going to fine tune. For getting the final height. For the whole the whole shebang. So now if we come up here, okay, remote access, control, we should just be able to hit reverse, and whole thing just gonna come rising up out of the floor. I don't even want to look. I just, just want it to happen. Ta-da! There it is. It broke. Or I broke it. I, pro I probably broke it. So not, there's not a rock sticking out. No? No, I broke it. All right, so you can get this remerged. And uh, next episode, we're going to get the actual gate itself all plumbed in. So I appreciate you guys coming out and supporting the channel. Don't forget to the thumbs up button. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.